Welcome to the Stanley Show for a Friday night. Uh, no Canucks game tonight. There is a Canucks game, as Joe mentioned, tomorrow. There were two games tonight. One of the series is over. Unlike last year, Boston didn't gag in their 3-0 lead to Philadelphia. They finished them off in game number four. But the Sharks were not able to knock off Detroit. They will play game five on Sunday. And, of course, if the Canucks beat Nashville, they will play the winner of that Detroit-San Jose series. Oh, I should mention, it's not all about hockey tonight. Angus Reid of the BC Lions is going to be a guest with us as well. He's always fun to have on the show. Now, the Canucks, as we said tomorrow, Game 5, they were in this position in Game 4, Game 5, and Game 6 with the Chicago Blackhawks. They needed overtime in Game 7 to finally win in the first round. I don't think that's going to be the case here. I was thinking of that old video game, Mortal Kombat. The Canucks need a finishing move tomorrow. They need that guy with the big voice to come down from the heavens and basically say, finish him, or in this case, them. They could do it that way. They don't have to be this gruesome, but the idea is pretty much the same. Get these guys out of here. Get on to the third round. Make the Predators just a pile of bones by the time tomorrow's Game 5 is over. And today the Canucks came back from Nashville. They took an afternoon flight home, decided to sleep overnight in Tennessee. And the big topic when they got off the plane with all the reporters waiting was the play in the last couple of games of, of Ryan Kessler and Roberto Luongo had this to say about Ryan Kessler. Yeah, he's, he's playing the way he has all year pretty much. I mean, uh, uh, obviously he's not only about point production. I think he brings much more to the, uh, to the team than that as far as uh, physicality, um, you know, big draws, uh, PK guy. So. He's a guy that uh, is valuable to our team in more ways than one, obviously. 